All right, we got some more hate mail for you guys, this time Baltimore edition. So after Trump tweeted about Baltimore, we fleshed out some of the facts, said Baltimore is not the nicest city you're ever going to come across. It's deadlier than Detroit and Chicago, has the highest murder rate in the U.S. It's the sixth most rat-infested city in America. Fact. I point that out, and the people of Baltimore want, me, want to let me know how I'm so wrong about their beautiful city. How do they do that? Oh, yeah, by threatening to kill me. Here's how the people, many of whom it appears are from Baltimore, reacted. Dirty Money Estro says, I'm a gonna, yo find you, and I will kill you. Sounds nice. But don't come find me. Stay in Baltimore. I'm told it's beautiful. You guys think it's gorgeous there. No idea why you'd want to leave. Now, mind you, Dirty Money Estro still has his Instagram page. Instagram didn't find anything wrong with that literal death threat. No, it's only, it's only when you criticize a pedophile who wants to party with topless 12-year-olds, that's when Instagram steps in and says, this goes against our community guidelines. Mr. Up Everything says, I'ma kill you. Okay, so these people are, are committing actual crimes. Issuing a death threat is a criminal act. And then they wonder, why would anyone say there's a crime in Baltimore? Curly-headed Ian says, don't ever talk about Baltimore again, or that's your head. Sorry, but I'm going to be talking about a Baltimore again and again and again, like I am right now, because you people are trash and you need to be exposed for everyone to see. You know, you Baltimore people, you are worse than the snowflakes from California because you're so offended by someone else's opinion and words so much that it makes you want to go and kill them. And that is a problem. Ms. Booty 86 says, in all caps, you a whole b you and how you feel about our city, you better make sure don't catch no bullet, you you and your boyfriend Trump, wrong, y'all, lore, Harvard grad, I'm gonna go with. I mean, y'all, lore? I mean, look, if Shakespeare can invent words, so can Ms. Booty 86, I guess. I mean, I don't mean to be laughing about people who are trying to kill me. You know, I make myself as hard to kill as possible with a number of security measures. But face it, if you're a high profile figure, you're going to get death threats, which is why it is so disingenuous for Ilhan Omar to go out there and say, I get a death threats because the president is so mean to me. Join the club, lady. Everyone does, especially when it's so easy to just fire off a message on social media. So stop with the sympathy thing. But it doesn't stop with Ms. Booty 86. Alberto, weirdo, capitalizes the first letter of every word and says, so I normally don't feed into bullshit, but I feel like you was totally disrespectful regardless of how you feel. It's different ways to go on about something. My question for you is, have you ever been to Baltimore? And if your answer is no, do you think you'll survive here if you was to come down here? Yeah, do you think you'd survive here if you were to come down to our lovely utopia? Come down here and say something like that without being killed? Try going in one of them neighborhoods and see a group of dudes who you know in the back of your mind will probably do something to you if you say what you said on national television? That's kind of my point. That's kind of my point, dude. But no, Baltimore is a total paradise with no crime. Wonderful people like that guy. Zay Wavy or Zay Wavy says, don't speak on a place you can't survive in, 100, 100, 100, 100. Uh, I think the reason people are speaking about Baltimore is exactly because you cannot survive in it. And that's the whole problem. And then when you point that out, you get all these crazy people saying, you could never survive in our wonderful city because we'll kill you. The sunglass kid says, yeah, Come here and you're gonna have issues. Don't use your platform to demean us. You a whole b and wouldn't last five minutes here. Another one with the whole b thing. You a whole b They love to say that. Like, I wouldn't wanna be a half b because I don't half ass anything, okay? And if I wouldn't last five minutes there, something tells me it's not such a wonderful place. But it wasn't just the Baltimore rats. Lots of people had negative reactions to our telling the truth about Baltimore that weren't necessarily from there. Mary Burke, she says, unless you have been there or live there, you have no business judging the city. I'm pretty sure that is gossip, and I know my Lord does not approve of that. It's not gossip, you big dumb oaf, you idiot. These are facts. Highest murder rate in the U.S., 
Statistical fact, deadlier than Detroit and Chicago. Statistical fact, we don't engage in gossip on this program. Put on Aaron Burnett if that's what you want. Others simply didn't like the video for other reasons. Joseph Blanco says, another public speaker with just way too much attitude. Who let the high school kids at the news? Having so much fun exposing the Democrats, we forget to be effing grown-ups. Ugh, I've done it too. It's gotta stop. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Yeah, man. Lynn Clare says, you are a big bag of wind, so blow away. I don't blow away. I blow people away. Okay, Lynn. Brad Smith says, you pretend to be a newsman. I'm not a newsman. I'm the newsman. Ruben says, you sound like you missed your medication. And you're named after a sandwich. Okay, buddy. Ronald Doziar says, I don't believe this fool. He's going to find out one day. Find out what? Find out what? That your city is a rat-infested crime dungeon? I'm already well aware. That's why we're doing this whole segment. Stefan Haby says, who the f is this Bojangles ass house Negro? Brother, sit down. Already sitting, bro. And Bojangles? Yes, Bojangles, the highest paid black entertainer in the first half of the 20th century. Probably tapping his way to the bank. That's pretty dope. I mean, can you do that? No. And that's why you don't make as much money as Bojangles does. That's why you're broke. Brian Fox says, how much money are you making for your Promagra? Yes, my fascinating Promagra. It's the best Promagra in the industry. We love this Promagra. Idiot. This person says, Brian says, how much Donna pay you to suck his <laughs> All right, not, not sure who Donna is. Donna Brazil at the Fox News? I don't think she has one. Maybe, though. We don't know. It's 2019, guys. I mean, these people all sound like such lovely individuals. I probably won't be able to go to Baltimore ever again. I won't even be able to pass through it on the Acela. But yes, so many of these people are from the beautiful utopia of Baltimore. Baltimore, where if you insult it, you're going to get murked. You get to keep your Instagram page and make death threats. Instagram, are you going to do something about these literal garbage people making death threats on your site? Or are your banning bots only reserved for people who hold conservative points of view? Well, we all know the answer to that. And it's a shame that you vilify conservatives more than you do literal criminals.